Hi, Dr. John Cotis from Cotis Plastic Surgery. Today we have a breast augmentation with a lift. We're actually putting an implant in and then lifting up the breast. This woman has extra skin and a little bit more droop, and we're going to give her a much more perky breast. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Oh, yeah. So we're starting the procedure. Uh, I'm going to make my incision down here to put in the implant, which we're going to go under the muscle. And then, uh, as you can see, I've made my markings, which will change ultimately once I start doing the lift. So this starts out almost like it's a regular brush augmentation. And we selected the implant, which I think is the biggest art is selecting the right type of implant when you're doing a lift. And you know, when I do my case, I like to do a dual plane, which gives you probably, in my opinion, the most natural appearing breast. So soon you will come in contact with the pectoralis muscle, which will be my border and my landmark for putting the implant underneath the muscle. At this point, I'm underneath the muscle, and I'm just gradually feeling my pocket, and I'm not dissecting the pocket as of yet. I just want to see as far as how large her pocket is at this point. So very rarely do I kind of use my fingertip. I kind of like the bovie, um, and I think that that actually helps with post-operative discomfort. So I'm painting, and my, my, as you can see, my bovie is very, very tiny. So I'm using that in terms to dissect the muscle. That's the muscle interface right here. Right and through here, and that's the plane that you want to be in when you're dissecting. And as you can see, my finger goes right in, and I'm right in at this point. Very traumatic get my to see how much room she actually anatomically has without me dissecting anymore with my finger. I just want to look to see where am I going to have to dissect in order to give her the optimal lift and a nice result. So there's a light source attached to this and I'm actually dissecting my pocket now. I'm just painting and getting rid of that muscle. See it? There we go. Can you come out? Thank you very much. So as you can see, I have the implant in this one, and there's no implant in this one, which we're gonna put, but you can see it's already starting to take shape. She still has loose skin above, which we're gonna make, we're, we're, that's what we're gonna do our lift on. The anesthetic I'm putting in right now is, a, is something that I've actually kind of developed in terms of the rapid recovery. And it's a, it's a way I dissect, plus it's also a way I inject the muscle so that there's really hardly any discomfort after surgery. And I really don't need the Keller funnel. It's just the way I've been doing it for the last 20 years and it seems to be going fine the way you do it. So we got about the same size. They look good, so I'll be sitting her up and then I'll be starting my look portion of it. Now that both implants are in. And I'm scoring around the areola that I'm gonna make. This is the extra skin that I'm de epithelializing in order for it to take shape. And I'm being rather conservative in terms of what I'm resecting. I could always resect a little more, but 
you want to make sure you get all the skin off here because if you leave some of that, you can get what's called epithelial cysts. And these patients certainly don't like that. So all the skin has to be removed. You know, not leave any of these little islands here or anything like that. time. So all this is going to be bye-bye. Bye-bye like the cup season, boy. Oh, that? Man. I can't believe it. Till next year. <laughs> for all my fans out there that are watching and on my channel, my serious condolences for the Cubs. <laughs> Skin. See it? It's a portion of the skin. So right now what we've done is we've finished insetting and I'm insetting now the areola and it look is, it's looking really great. She's, she's really turning out nice and that's my breast dog lip with an implant. Um, these really settle out nicely. I took a little off, a little more skin off here. Her measurements equaled out and she's looking really good. I'm very pleased with the results. So at this point right now I'm just insetting as you can see the areola around here. It's really starting to take a nice shape though in comparison to her before pictures. This completion of our breast augmentation with a left, she's had a nice result and it made a significant difference from her preoperative uh, state. Uh, please stay tuned to my channel, Codus Plastic Surgery on YouTube and Instagram. With tomorrow, we're doing a gynecomastia, which is a reduction of glandular tissue in a male patient. If you like my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.